Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you never miss out on a Steffi D Creates video. It's almost Thanksgiving, so we are getting ready for the big dinner. Not all of us will be hosting dinner. So if you're going to someone else's house, it's always polite to bring a host or hostess gift. So we're gonna be making something super cute and easy that you can make that will be a wonderful gift for your host. We're gonna be making these ombre wooden utensils that we're gonna pair with a cute oven mitt that match. They're a great host gift. You can pick the color of the kitchen that they have, or if you don't know it, pick a color you think they'll like, and we're gonna make these ombre utensils. They're so cute and a great gift. As always, full instructions will be on my blog, steffydecreates.com. Links to all the products I used in this video in the comments below. You can pick any color to make these. We're gonna mix our own ombre, so it's totally up to you. I'm so excited to show you how to make these, so let's get started. Come craft with me, Steffi D. Here's what you're going to need. Wooden utensils, two colors of paint, a main color and a white, dishwasher safe Mod Podge, foam brushes, a paper plate, an oven mitt, masking tape, q-tips, and some ribbon. The first thing we're going to do is tape off where we're going to paint on our wooden utensils. So take a piece of your masking tape and mark off the bottom of where we are going to paint. I like to do it just below where the spoon or fork or ladle ends and just put a layer of tape evenly all the way around. You want to make sure that your lines on the bottom are going to be straight. Sometimes you need two pieces of tape to do this to make sure because it curls around so it's not quite straight. So as long as your bottom line of tape is straight, it doesn't matter if your top is, and then do it with all of your wooden utensils. You want to make sure when you're taping them off, you're taping them off at the same place on the utensils so that they'll match and that your tape goes all the way around. Make sure it's nice and smooth so no paint is able to get underneath. Once our utensils are taped off, we're going to start mixing our paint. I start with the lightest color first so we can do more layers of dark. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my white paint and do a squeeze onto my paper plate. And because we're doing the lightest color, I'm gonna take my main color, I'm using an orange here, and I'm gonna do just a tiny little squeeze of paint into that white, just one drop. Then take a Q-tip and we're going to mix the paint together. Make sure that your paint is fully mixed in so you don't have any streaks in it, so it'll be a nice even color. Once your paint is mixed, we're going to take our foam brush, dip it in that paint color you just mixed, and paint the bottom where we taped off of the wooden utensil. Make sure you're doing a nice even coat of paint all the way around your utensil. And make sure at the bottom where your tape is that you're really giving it a nice coat so that when you pull the tape off you have a nice clean line. When it's fully painted, I'm gonna let these dry standing up in a silverware holder, but totally up to you how you wanna let them dry. So let this dry and move on to your next utensil. For the second color, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the first. We're gonna do a squeeze of white and I put them all on the same paper plate so that I can see the shade of colors to make sure I'm getting a good variation. So do another squeeze of white paint and this time instead of doing one drop of orange I'm going to do two drops of orange and take another q-tip and mix those all together. Then take your second foam brush and another utensil and paint the bottom of that. If you don't think that your second shade of paint is too much darker than your first one you can always add a little bit more paint but remember we're going to be doing three or four of them so you want to make sure that you're going to have enough variation before you get to the solid color. The trick to making sure that your paints have a good variation is to make sure that you're using the same amount of white paint when you're mixing it in. That way they're not gonna be too saturated and you'll know that you're getting the same color variation for each utensil. When you finish your second utensil, set that aside to dry and move on to your third utensil. For the third color, we're going to use just a little bit less white paint because we want a little bit darker as we creep towards our solid color. And so it's gonna be about half and half. So half white and half of your solid color. Then go ahead and mix it. Then take your brush and dip it in that third color and give your utensil a good coat and set that aside to dry and we'll start moving on to our fourth color. For the fourth color, I'm not actually going to add any white to it. I'm just gonna squeeze my main color onto the paper plate and use that to paint the utensil. Your fourth color should be super vibrant and bright because we're not mixing it with any white. So it's really fun to get to that fourth color. When you finish your fourth utensil, we're gonna set these aside to completely dry for at least an hour. When your utensils have completely dried, we're going to seal them with some dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You can pour some out onto a paper plate or you can dip right into the bottle, but you wanna make sure that your paints have completely dried so it doesn't mix into the color of the Mod Podge. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush right in here and we're gonna go with our first utensil and really give it a nice coat of this Mod Podge. You wanna 
make sure that it's even and completely all over your utensil. Once you seal these with the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, they become top rack dishwasher safe so your paint won't, won't come off and it gives it a little bit of gloss. When you finish sealing all of your utensils, you wanna set these aside to dry at least overnight a full day if you can. After everything has dried for a day or two, come back in to pick up your utensils and peel off your tape. That looks so awesome. You can tie these together with a ribbon and give as is. That's a really cute gift to give. But I like to pair it with an oven mitt that matches. I did orange to match. So I'm just gonna put these on top of the oven mitt and lay them out in a cute pattern. And first, I'm actually going to tie the utensils together so they don't come apart. And once they're tied, I'm going to lay them on top of the oven mitt and put a big bow around all of it. And there you go, a super cute last minute hostess gift that only takes a couple days if you have it. You can do them overnight if you need to, it's totally okay. But they will be so appreciated by who's ever giving your Thanksgiving dinner. And it only took you a little bit of time and it looks amazing. Happy Thanksgiving. So I told you these were super easy to make and if you have the extra time to let them dry, I recommend it. If you don't, you can just give them away as long as they have dried for at least overnight. I love this gift. I actually made a set for myself while I was making them for someone else because I just couldn't resist. They're so cute. If you liked today's video, don't forget to click that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you liked it. As always, full instructions are on my blog, StephanieDecreates.com. Links to all the products I used in this video in the comments below. If you make these, don't forget to upload them and use the hashtag StephanieDecreates so I can see your awesome creations. Even if you make them for yourself and you, you don't even use them, you hang them on your wall. This would be a great wall decoration for your kitchen, especially if you're going for like a farmhouse style. Don't forget to follow Follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest to stay up to date with behind the scenes information and upcoming projects. I hope you liked today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.